reason for visiting Indiana and Indianapolis in particular was simply to drive two hours down to Ohio, Fairfield, Ohio to be exact, to visit Jungle Gems International Market. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? This is what you'd have to agree is a truly random destination. And as you can see, they spare no expense. And it actually comes with its own soundtrack. Now I've been told by knowledgeable people that stop here regularly while driving four and five hundred miles out of their way that this store literally carries everything. So we'll check it out. Well we're starting out today in the cookware section of Jungle Gems and whoa is that a Grater's ice cream store? I think it is. Let's divert for a while. Now I don't know about you but nothing starts out my day better than a brownie hot fudge sundae with whipped cream and pecans. Now unlike those crappy pretend sundaes you get at places like Dairy Queen and other fast food joints this is actually a real ice cream sundae. And at $8.25, it's a little bit pricey, but then you get what you pay for. Well, all I can say is I must be getting old, because at halfway through, I had to stop and catch my breath and let my tongue thaw back out. That is one seriously good ice cream sundae. So all I can say is, where's Edith May when I need her? Well, I'm going to go ahead and try and finish this up, and then we'll restart our tour of Jungle Gems International Market. Well that project is complete so let's go try and walk off some of those 10,000 calories and I'll give you some fun facts about Jungle Gems. Well right off the top make sure you pick up one of the maps when you first walk in because if you've never been there before you'll spend hours trying to figure out how to get the hell out of the store again. Next, I see according to their jungle facts sheet, they carry over 180,000 different items. The store is five football fields in size and over six and a half acres. They carry 4,000 varieties of beers uh, and 15,000 different labels of wine. They have foods from 75 different countries. And if you're into health, which I can't say I'm big on that. They have over an acre of fresh produce. The first section we're going to stroll through is the deli and meat and cheese section. It has uh, imported olives, over 1400 different types of meats and cheeses from I think it said 32 different countries. You can certainly find what you're looking for here. Now just looking around the store, I can see that uh, I should have made this our last stop instead of our first stop in Season 5 uh, because they have a tremendous uh, selection of stuff, but I don't think I want to pay a couple hundred dollars to put something in the cooler and cart it around for 2,000 miles, so that is a shame. down past the cheese and the deli food and around the beer and past the wine and we're at the bakery where they have an 
indisputable collection of sweets and breads and rolls. I'll tell you, if you're looking for a specialty cut of meat, this is the place to come. Honey from all over the country. I'll tell you, their, their prices aren't, aren't bad at all. Well, this kind of puts Sam's and Costco to shame. Now, I don't know how you are when you travel, but I can tell you, Edith May and I love nothing more than to stock up on bizarre and strange foods from all over the world that we've never heard of and snack on them while we drive. That way, if we find one that really disagrees with us, it makes the riding in the car really exciting. Monkfish. Wow, this is an impressive. Impressive selection of seafood. This place just goes on and on and on. I don't even know which way to go. Crab bisque, lobster bisque. From Bar Harbor, which I think is Maine, isn't it? I believe it is. Fish stock. This is all international foods in here. Korean barbecue. Well, rendezvous rib sauce. That's that's actually my favorite. I actually need some of that. It used to be the only place I could find it was in Memphis. Towards the very back of the store in the international section, they have all these little kiosks of uh, individual countries where they'll have a selection of not only probably some of their best selling food or best known foods, but also some nice imported uh, uh, cookware and uh, trinkets, stuff, stuff you would buy if you were having a Greek party or a Mexican party or whatever. Well, that pretty much is going to wrap up our visit to Jungle Jim's International Market. I have to say I was very impressed by it. Um, I had a terrible time trying to edit this video down from 35 or 40 minutes down to 10 or 12. And I don't think I did it justice. So if you're ever in Fairfield, Ohio, for whatever reason, make sure you stop by Jungle Jim's. Next week on Random Destinations, we will be heading to... Holland, Michigan. Uh, we are going to stop there and 
see the annual Tulip Festival. See you then.